The Prime Minister, Dr. Panabas Sibusi So Lameni, says Swaziland is a two language country, hence, both languages must be spoken equally without one moving to the back seat, so to, so to speak. The Prime Minister was speaking at the launch of the Siswati National Language Board at the George Hotel in Menzini. We have a report. In an effort to preserve and protect the country's Siswati language, in February this year, the Prime Minister Dr. Panabas Sibusiso Lamene made several government declarations, which included the relaunch of the Siswati National Language Board. Following the declaration, the board has been officially relaunched by the Prime Minister. Speaking at the relaunch of the Siswati Board, the Prime Minister said Swaziland is a country of two official languages, Siswati and English. Yet Siswati has moved backstage, so to speak, and no longer features prominently as a means of communication in society. The Premier says schools are teaching predominantly in English and they have a young generation growing up with a very poor grasp of the country's mother tongue. Lamini says English is a language spoken in many countries of the world and a good command of English is an important attribute in the global society of today, but it should not be at the expense of Siswati. He says they need a conscious program to restore Siswati to its deserved position of equal prominence with the English language. <laughs> We are sure would sit the limit, let that you are go, let the such and this one go on a swatini. The swati, the singies. So, the sugar lapo gave a name. Would see the swati, the singies. I go bet the limit, the tip of leg eleven. Sigaki, the singing, a tunemi, la le singing. They are full now, it's Banba Betu. What at the Tlim letting it? In Clans, I would say in Gondo. Ye Mundo, ye Wati, Kukulumatilimi, letting in the Gasha foods. Ukona nje la banga kuluma mta ume shume leti li. Ati kulume ga shifuz. Kepage si nela iswatini. Si bugeti mbili. Lokfanele uti. Singe maswati si tati. Si swati. Ganyene singisi. Slapage Bernene would see the Pagam Selobo, sing all men there and booby. Singing a sieve. Would see a singer bugle, linger labo, pale labas for lago, in booby, mend of was, Nalabany, Bandrobin goes, Bobabet cool. Gepa, sing a maswat, and a moony and a moony. A stinigal and silent and Kutsi bandwa betu abati kulume to timbili letili. Lel bandwa ge njomba na go inrona seile tuli le le holoa guba be mkond. Lene go ge le yon sale sae ya be mne ne kutsi bone mas. The ministers, in order for the implementation of the government policies, as far as this what is concerned. They need the board to come up with a suggestions to government that will have the requisite impact in practice. The Prime Minister added that government is encouraging the use of a high standard of Siswati and they ask parents to make conscious efforts to develop their own knowledge and skill in Siswati and use it extensively in conversations with their children. He also added that, as announced at the International Mother Language Day in February this year, the Siswati Academy will be relaunched at the National Curriculum Center, and to put that into effect will be the responsibility of the new Siswati National Language Board. 
the members of the New Society National Language Board were announced by the Minister of Education and Training, Phineas Makapula, who said they are grateful to have the board that will protect and preserve the country's mother language. The board members are Sibusisom Konda, who is the chairman, and members are Kanyisile Lamini, Kaili Lemota, Sylvia Shrope, Teliwe Mohammed, Temegilem Sibi, and Gloria Malambe. The chairman of the board, Sibusisom Konda, thanked the government for giving them the opportunity to work towards the protection and preservation of the country's Siswati language, adding that the issue is very old and dates back to many more or rather many years ago. Sibusi Songubane reporting for Swazi TV News at the George Hotel in Manzini.